everyone. Let's take a look at the new influencer necklace. This piece is just an absolute standout from our new collection. Comes in both silver and gold. So we're gonna put some looks together today with this incredible new piece. Now, when you're looking at this piece, if you have been like checking out the various designer lines this season, you notice that this is pretty much identical to the, the it's, a, it's a designer inspired look by David Yerman. And you can spend like a thousand dollars on the David Yerman version, but we're not gonna do that. You can grab a Park Lane one, beautiful quality, and look at the detail on this. I know that this is one of those pieces that like when you get it, you're saying, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that there's like crystal on the little O-ring pieces. Hi, Evelyn. Um, you know, that you have your toggle detail. There's just so many beautiful features to this necklace and lots of ways that you can wear it because of those features. So let's start with the gold one. Now, what is so cool about this necklace is that it actually, this O-ring here pushes in. For those of you that have, see how this pushes in? That's how we put the necklace on and off. It's also how you can remove the extra toggle if for some reason you don't want to wear it. I'll show you that too. But to open this and to put it on and off, you just push that section down. And then now, you know, it, it comes off like that. So hold on. It slipped off my finger and now I lost my spot. Okay. So when you push this down, you slide this off. All right, so let's put it on Gemma here. So we're gonna start her out today with some animal print. So we just have like a neutral shell and then our animal print jacket. So to wear it just all by itself, you have the awesome toggle um, detailing. You have that chunky chain that is so, so popular right now. And now it's just a matter of finishing out the accessories, right? So if we want to just keep it to a nice everyday earring, we can go ahead with the Del Rey earrings, which have that oval shape similar to the oval in the necklace. So that makes a really nice compliment. And these do come in silver too. So we can do this whole look in silver. And we can just keep it basic with some additional um, gold bracelets. We could do Carrington, we could do the Rika bracelet, even the Radley in the nude, and have um, <laughs> the nude color, and then have uh, a great look for that. And that would be like, you know, base model version. But what about if we're going to do some animal print, let's make it a gold and black look, right? So let's do some add-ons. Now, uh, let's, let's take it up with some add-ons and make it a messy neck look as well. So let's add on the Beverly necklace. So now you'll have a David Yerman inspired piece along with a Louis Vuitton inspired piece. And what you can do is just lay this right on top. And now you have the black um, details on the Beverly necklace, along with the toggle details on the influencer, and you have a really great black and gold messy neck look. Now we can add on some black and gold earrings to this as well. Um, so let's take it up a notch with the Jolene earrings. So these are super lightweight open hoops. Uh, and they have, of course, the beautiful black beading along with the sparkly gold detail. And now we really have a much more, um, I think, interesting look that than we started with because now we have layers, we have gold and black, and it's just a really pretty look all together. So now when you're doing your bracelets, adding this on, you can add things like the Medusa bracelet to this, the Tatum, the Radley, and you'll have this whole look together. We could even add another gold bracelet in here. Um, gosh, I have a few from here that I could add in, but just a fantastic look. Now, if you're not so loving the messy neck look with this, then all we have to do is you can swing the necklace around and just put the toggle in the back. I should have removed this first. Hold on. So if we move the toggle to the back or remove the toggle entirely so you're not wearing it, 
you have your a much more uh, plain chain, even though it's still that nice chunky quality. And now you can go ahead and add the Beverly. So now all of your eye focus is on the details strictly in the charms details strictly in the Beverly. So this is a neater, <laughs> messy net look that you might prefer. So you can do a look like that. Um, if you wanted to add something shorter or use the influencer as the one that's doing the framing, in that case, we could instead use as the layering piece, uh, we could do the Harper necklace. So the Harper necklace gives us beautiful hematite crystal detail on just a regular short gold chain. Still looks amazing with the Jolene earrings. And now we're simply framing the uh, Harper necklace with the influencer and you have a great layered look that way as well. Now, of course, we can swing this around. You could have kept the toggle in the front and still worn the Harper if you wanted to. And a great addition to this, of course, would be the spade ring. Because the spade ring is the same hematite detailing as the necklace in a ring. So that you have this whole look put together. So lots of great options as far as that's concerned. So if you are an animal print lover, that's just a couple of ways that we can do the gold influencer with some layering. Now, maybe you'd rat, you like the black and gold look and you like animal print, but not so much in the clothing. So let's, instead of doing the animal print on the clothing, remember you always have the option of doing your animal print in your jewelry instead. So let's say we're gonna do just a really awesome red blazer instead. So funny, uh, this is the same blazer I'm wearing in a in the mustard. This is it in the cranberry color. When I ordered both of them, um, I accidentally ordered one in a small, and I don't wear a small, but Gemma wears a small, so she got to keep it. So if we want to do the black and gold look or some animal print look, but not in the clothing, well then, all we have to do is wear the black and gold, of course, with a solid. The red is an amazing choice for fall. Or we can put the accessories as the animal print. So for example, now we try to keep, <laughs> try to keep the animal print to like no more than three maximum places. So let's do the espresso earrings. These are so fun because these are actually furry and they're a nice thick substantial hoop that aren't crazy heavy. So when you use that, this gives you that touch of animal print. Let me make sure that's stuck on good. This gives you that touch of animal print without having to wear an entire piece of clothing that has animal print to it. So we can do that as the earring and then do fun animal print bracelet with the safari bracelets. So the safari bracelets are the bracelet at the top and the bottom. It's a set, hand painted. And what a fun print that is, along with all of those crystals on the little ball. I did pair it along with the Jonah bracelet to kind of break it up, but you could certainly um, substitute any gold bracelet in there in the middle. But this is a great look that you could use to do your um, animal print look without committing to wearing animal print clothing. Now, we could also um, it, do it with a different necklace in the center. So let's switch out. And instead of using the Harbor necklace, let's instead give her the Sassy necklace. So the Sassy necklace is another piece so fun that you have the um, furry animal print. And it just frames so, it's framed so nicely by the influencer and you have that touch of the animal print. Now you could add to that, you could do a simple stud like with the tiramisu earrings, you get all three in the set, or you could do 
could even do this the roar earrings these are those longer earrings that also have that furry animal print ah, so that's a fun one um if you don't want to do another animal print you can even do the collins earrings so the collins earrings are the threaders super lightweight kind of that hoop inspired but you get all of the beautiful beading on the front so these certainly would be amazing with that as well. So, you know what else is another like designer inspired type? Um, I mean, uh, animal print inspired is to do like tiger eye or tortoise shell. And you can achieve that with the Atlantic bracelet also. This one is a beautiful tiger eye stones with the crystals. And when you just pop these in, with other bracelets, whether you want to pop it in with some neutrals or whether you want to pop it in with the mantra bracelet, it really is such a pretty look that does really look great along with your animal prints. Tortoiseshell, animal prints, and tiger eye are all, you know, kind of close in the same family. So lots of different ways that you can do the animal print look without wearing the actual animal prints. So, all right, so that, oh, one more black and gold ring though. I just added this into the collection and that is the new dusk ring. And of course, how perfect is this one mixed in with all of your black and gold? So just a really fun ring. Because this is such a thick band, I do recommend sizing up on this one. So if you would normally, if you wanted it for your pointer and you'd normally wear a nine, I highly recommend a 10. So, all right, so now what about just everyday life? This is of course a fun, like after work, we're going to drinks, we're gonna go to brunch type look. What about just like momming around town or busy woman around town? That's when you really kind of just pull out your chains and your denim jacket, right? So let's switch over and do some everyday fun silver look with the silver influencer necklace. Now, of course, take a look at this though. We could absolutely do the entire look that I just shared with you with a regular denim jacket. Because, you know, when you just have like a bunch of errands to run and stuff, or even if you're like leaving the gym and you have on your yoga pants and a tank, throw on that denim jacket and run and do your errands and you're gonna feel and look great. So let's switch out even though I do love to do gold with this, but let's make a transition now into the silver version of the influencer. So swing it on over into silver. There are so many ways that we can wear it. So again, if you're just joining in with me now, the influencer necklace is a David Yerman inspired piece. The David Yerman version is a thousand dollar necklace. You can get the Park Lane one. The retail on this one is 84 um, maybe, but we have our double bonus item sale still going on. You can actually grab this as your free gift with $90 purchase. So we have a lot of great sales going on. And as always, if you're making a list of things that you love as you're watching this video, then by all means, um, send me that wish list so that I can work out the best sale for you because that's my job as your stylist, right? To work out the pieces that you want and that you love the most into the best sale that I can for you. So let's take a look because we're just gonna do that busy running around town. So that's kind of where we do silver, we do denim jackets. So here it is again in its basic form. And we can go ahead and do all types of layered looks with this. So if we want to do some additional um, chunky chain, we have a couple of options here. One would be to let it be layered along with the slate necklace. Now the slate necklace has three layers to it, that thinner paper clip layer, and then the herringbone layer, the layer in the middle. This is a bit of a shorter necklace, making it the perfect layering necklace. Now how great does this look? I'm gonna turn the light down, I feel like it's a little, there we go. Um, how fantastic is this layered look? Now the perfect earrings for this, are the Ellis earrings and great news. These were just marked down on sale for 30 bucks. So if we were to be putting an order together for you, this would be one of your two low price pieces. 
but I love the Ellis earrings because you get the bonus chain piece. Now, is there a seriously a more perfect earring to go with this look? The slate, the influencer, and then the Ellis earrings. Now, there are days that you may not want all of this chain hanging, and for those days, you're gonna simply slide the chain off and look at these perfect silver hoops you're gonna have. Now, they do come in gold also, so you can get them in gold or in silver, or both, of course, and you're gonna have that perfect silver layered look. Love it, love it, love it. Now, of course, as you're adding in some bracelets, we have lots of options in silver. So, this whole arm party, so many fun different styles of bracelet in here. If somehow you have missed the Rika bracelet with the texture and this gorgeous bangle look that's actually uh, stretchy, then this is an absolute must have bracelet. Now, and of course, you have your open top bangles like the Lifestyle. You can even do the Dawson bracelet um, as part of your layers. Now, the Dawson bracelet is such a fun one because you have the stunning crystal in the front, the plane on the back, but it's an oval shape. Oval bracelets are the easiest to wear because your wrist is oval. So when you open this, it doesn't have to be so big that it's going to be banging around while you wear it. And then once it clips shut, it has that closer fit. And when you are typing, it's not banging on the desk. Everything that you're doing over the course of your day, this is such a better fit. So you have all of those options there in the silver. And if you just want to have that kind of basic but yet sparkly hoop, let's get you a pair of highlight earrings in the silver. So the amount of sparkle on these earrings is just not even to be believed. They are so sparkly and amazing and would be the perfect finishing touch to this whole look here. So that's a great running around town look if you do love silver. Now, of course, we can vary this up a couple of different ways. Number one is Remember, you're always able to turn this necklace. You can remove the toggle or just keep it in the back and have that planar style. Again, messy neck, although that's like a nice, neat, messy neck. I know there's a lot of people that like, they, they would like the messy neck if it wasn't so messy. <laughs> so if that's how you are, then doing a three layer necklace that is already layered for you and just adding in something else that lays nicely that's a great way to do it. It's the same type of look that you can achieve if you use your Alexa necklace. So your Alexa necklace is another one that gives you the three layers that will just simply lay so nicely and give you that automatic layered look. But if you do want to use your influencer to kind of give that one more chunky layer, you could add that chunky layer in right along with your, and that gives such a much, you know, such like a wow factor to have that middle layer be chunkier like that. Um, you can certainly keep the toggle in the front and that gives you a little extra detail as well. For this one, I personally like it the other way. But it's, that's also because I am a neat, messy necker, not so much a messy, messy necker. But that's a fun one. You could always add in a piece if you do love all of the like celestial things. You could do the diva necklace in here. How beautiful is this, is this moon? The sparkle on this one is also just absolutely outstanding. So we can put our influencer in there and give that extra little pow to our um, Alexa necklace. Now the Alexa necklace, what's so great about getting this three layer piece is that they all come apart. So this one is the Carrington, but I could have used the gold one of the Alexa necklace with the layering I'm doing right here. There's so many ways that you can break up your Alexa necklace to wear with other things. And if you want a little more size to the earrings that you're wearing, then let's switch out for the Palm Beach earrings. 
because these are those forward facing hoops that have this fantastic sparkle to them and you're a little plainer in the necklace in terms of crystals anyway so it just picks up a little extra sparkle and off you go to do all of your errands to um, stop and have lunch with the other you know moms after drop off or all of that stuff and you are ready to go so hope that this was a fun introduction to our influencer necklace if any of these pieces speak to you, you want me to work on your wish list, let me know. I am happy to work out a sale. If you want to be invited to the first big party in September, it is next Thursday night, and I would be so happy. I'm going to be, I would be happy to send you an invite. The whole theme of that one is transitioning your end of summer clothes into your early fall clothes and how to save money by just accessorizing them in the new fall way. Have a great rest of your day, everyone.